The Pulse Dress, it incorporates um, screen printed sensors that are um, actually um, screen printed with a conductive ink. It's also connected to the LED lights, which are woven into the material. And the biometric sensors um, sends the signals to a light that causes the dress to illuminate. The dress blinks due to the heartbeat of the person that's wearing the dress. It started off with me, um, I guess, like shadowing and learning about the, um, the technology that was being developed in the NEXT research group. So the NEXT research uh, group stands for Nano Extended Textiles. And, and what we do is we look at opportunities for integrating electronics uh, into garments um, and into other textile products. They were working with um, just several different projects, but one in particular, ECG signals um, integrated into clothing. And so I thought that it would be good to represent that visually, and that kind of inspired the whole um, theme and process, design process for developing Pulse. One of the opportunities that we have in the College of Textiles is the fact that we have designers and we have researchers all in the same location. The fusion designer is somebody that understands the design challenges, but also understands the scientific challenges. So for example, somebody like Jaslyn, she understands the electronics portion of it as much as she understands the design aspects of the, of the actual dress. I am integrating um, their scientific research with my design background and uh, creating some magic together. Um, I have no background in electrical engineering whatsoever. I didn't know anything about microcontroller units. I didn't know how to solder um, metal to wires to make connections to a board. And I didn't know how to code or anything like that. So um, the Makerspace was a place that I could come to um, where I could learn from like students and staff that are working in the space and where I could, you know, I guess just gain a little bit more insight about what exactly is required to make this dress. The makerspace here at the HL really enables groups like mine, the next research group, to um, go beyond themselves. Uh, it, it provides a number of resources that we go and leverage. Uh, it ha they have experts here that allow us to um, understand how to do the programming, understand how to do the 3D printing. Um, they, they know the tricks of the trade. It can be overwhelming if you don't have exposure to electrical engineering. Um, so the makerspace just was a great place for me to have like a community to grow and, and learn these skills.